We started this hour with Sarah talking about initial jobless claims, so let me come to you on that, because they're the lowest they've been, what, in the last four months, right? I mean, are we, is the Fed overly concerned about employment at this point, given at least it would seem to be pretty strong, not to mention what Michelle Bowman, who descended in the last meeting, has to say about it as well? No, I, you know, I, you know, the UI claims uh, we got to uh, step back, uh, abstract from the seasonal adjustment issues. You know, they were a bit. In, you may recall, if you go back a couple months ago, or maybe even a month ago, they felt on the high side of what everyone was comfortable with, and now they're kind of on the low side. This just goes to the so-called residual seasonality created by uh, the pandemic. So, if you cut through that, it feels like we're a rock solid. You know. 225, 230, that's very consistent with an economy that the job market is going to continue to create jobs. But the concern is that businesses have pulled back on their hiring, no doubt about that. They've cut back on hours uh, that people are working. They've cut back on temp jobs. And all of those things suggest that, uh, you know, businesses have turned more cautious here. And, you know, I always worry about layoffs. I mean, <clears throat> you know, it's um, uh, the argument is that uh, businesses aren't going to lay off because they've been grappling with labor shortages for such a long time. They don't want to get wrong-footed like they did during the pandemic, so they're going to be very reluctant to lay off. And I think that's a reasonable argument, but, you know, it's hard to prove, hard to show. And, you know, speaking to you now as kind of a business person who hires a lot of people, employs a lot of people, I know that when one a company in each industry decides to start laying off, it, it, it uh, sets off uh, layoffs across the board. So it feels like a very tenuous kind of situation we're in. I'll, I'll, you know, it's great. It's good. Economy still remains resilient. We're still creating jobs, but it feels like a resilient, uh, kind of a tenuous resilience, if that, if that makes any sense. Is there any reason to still be worried about price pressures, about inflation? I know we've come down from 9.1 percent to in the 2 to 3 percent range, and and we're overly tight, and the Fed has, has given a nod to that with their rate cuts and expected continued cuts. But now with commodities reflating a little bit, the markets are up, China's starting to stimulate. Is there a reason to be concerned that they might not be able to get as much cutting done as they, as they or the market anticipates? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, you know, the only difference between the current inflation rate, pick your inflation measure, and the Fed's target is the cost of, of housing, the implicit cost of home ownership, the owner's equivalent rent. In fact, if you exclude owner's equivalent rent, which I think there's strong argument to be made, you should exclude it for lots of different reasons. It's not useful in trying to gauge what's going on with how you should conduct monetary policy. Uh, inflation is below target. It's been consistently below target. I mean, it's like one and a half, 1.6 percent year over year. It's been that way for more than a year. So if anything, it feels like we're on the soft side of inflation, not the high side. And given the labor market, given the slowing in growth, uh, you know, I, I think I, I'm not overly worried about the job market at this point, particularly given the Fed cuts. And I'm not overly worried about inflation. It feels like we're right where we want to be at this point. All right. We'll leave it there, right where we want to be. Marco, is appreciated. Thank you.